I'm Alexis Evans and this is Erin Caskey and this is a documentary that we filmed last year during our rehearsal process for Moby Dick the Musical. We finished filming it after the submission deadline for TAP's film last year, so now we have all the footage to edit to submit this year. I'm the director of the film and it features all of the Moby Dick the Musical cast. Crawford, Jackson Connor, Macy Cowart, Mason, Christopher, Sarah Beth Webb, Sarah Beth Wallace, Holly Gray, Aiden Stinson. <sighs> My name is Anna Crawford. I am a senior. I'm playing Ishmael and I've been a drama for four years. I personally have a long way to go with my character, but I feel like it's coming along more than it has in years past. And so I'm like, I'm really excited to see what this year will hold. And we have so much time and I'm, I'm so excited for what everyone's gonna do with their characters. It was cast perfectly. A Whale of a Tale is my favorite song because um, I love Holly's voice and I love the song. It's such a fun song. It always makes me happy every time I hear it. <laughs> I am nervous for <laughs> Building America <laughs> because it's long and there are so many parts all throughout the song and it, everyone's gonna know when to come in and out and it's gonna be like a dancing thing and a lot of choreography. So I'm a little scared about that one. If I could predict something, I would predict that like someone would get sick <laughs> like very last minute. And oh I especially my. hope it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this isn't in the documentary that you flashed to Anna being uh -oh. sick. <laughs> uh -oh. Thank you, Anna. All right, you're welcome. Yeah. Call me Ishmael. Hi, Ishmael. My name is Jackson Connor. I am in the 10th grade or a sophomore. My character name is Pierre as like the sailor. I think this year is going to be really fun, but really challenging. And it's going to come down to the last second of putting everything together, but it's going to come out really cool. Hi, my name is Macy Cowart. I am a senior. I'm playing Captain Ahab and I've been in drama at Grace for four years. Oh yeah. my gosh, yeah. Jason, go away. My name is Mason. Um, I play Dagu. I'm in 10th grade and I've done theater stuff all my life, but I've been in the class at Grace for two years. Hi, my name is Christopher. My character is Coffin. I am in the 12th grade. I'm a senior. It's pretty neat. Favorite song is probably At Sea One Day or in Old Nantucket. As of this recording, it's about two years. My favorite song is Building America. I think it's really fun and it's pretty catchy, so. I'm thinking Building America. I'm thinking that one's gonna go wrong. I'm thinking people are gonna get sick. Jackson's gonna break something or die. I think people won't understand the school him that we were purposely doing that bad and I think that can go very wrong and I think it's gonna get real weird when guards try to frisk Doug Stiffer. I think sometimes like because it's like really low budget thing we're just like grabbing things from other shows I think at some point that could maybe go wrong because like at the beginning like we'll be like pulling all the stuff out of like boxes that say like different show names and it'd be all these different like funny props but then like if the audience kind of like doesn't catch on it's gonna be kind of like Weird. So I think we had to make sure we get that point across. Oh yes, I do have one. Oh my okay. gosh, dang it. God save the queen. Oh my. America has gone through one civil war. We made it through. We're still, you know, united. And then we also have the civil war between. I am Sarah. I am a sophomore. So far, I really like, uh, it's a tie between uh, A Man Happens or An Old Man Tuck It. They're so fun. I love doing them. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like we're all just gonna have like, a great time just like doing it and jamming and I mean it's gonna be long nights but we're gonna gl grow closer I guess. I'm Sarah Beth Wallace. I'm Holly Gray. And I'm in the 11th grade. I'm a senior. I play the role of Stubb. And I play the role of Starbuck. I think my favorite song would be Building America. That's a good one. My favorite song is probably In Old Nantucket. Okay. I think it's super crazy but super fun. Well, my character Stubb is so dumb, sweet girl, and probably like will forget to do something, but it'll totally like be in character. I predict that whenever we get to the Liberty and actually see how small that stage is, we're gonna go, uh oh, and it's not gonna fit, and we're gonna have to majorly cut something, probably. My name is Aiden Stinson, and I am in the 10th grade. 
I'm kind of a background character. I'm this random little kid that comes into St. Godley's and he's not really supposed to be there, but he is fascinated with girls. And so he just decides to flirt with every single one of them. I think my favorite song is either I Live and Breathe or Building America. Live and Breathe is just really cool. It's a nice song. I don't know, I just like, I like singing it. I'm uh, actually a part of the crew that's making the musical, but I'm also in the musical, so that kind of creates a weird dynamic, but yeah. Sarah. So my name is Sarah Beth Wallace. I am a cheerleader this year. It's my senior year. I'm one of the captains and then I'm also in choir and drama. I was recently admitted to music school so I'll be going to Oklahoma City University next fall. Yes, last year I played stub in Moby Dick. My name is Aiden Stinson and I'm a junior. I was a sophomore last year whenever we did Moby Dick. How do you feel looking back on Movie Dick after a year? Um, I was really grateful for the experience. It was it was a really good time to like get to know like old friends and new friends and it was I got to learn more about theater and like more about what I can do as an actor. Looking back, I think it was probably the funnest show I've ever been in because I just got to like make a fool of myself the whole time because my character was just so like out of her mind happy all the time that I didn't have to like there weren't really any rules in terms of what I could and could not do so I just went for it. I really like the show I love the show but it's a weird story for me because I was almost in it but I, I decided not to be um, so I, I had never been done drama before so Moby Dick was it was my first play. It was a musical, and I, I can't sing. It wasn't, I don't think it was a good starter, but it was a really good play altogether. Was it a stressful time going through it? Stressful is a word for that. There's one specific song that we could never get right, give away, that was horrible. It was stressful at some times, but it was rewarding overall. Did it affect your career as an actor or as a person? A little bit. I mean, not necessarily. It just improved me, I guess, because I got more experience. I'm used to playing more serious characters and getting to play a character where I just had so much fun. It was definitely the most exhausting role I've ever had because I had to be so happy all the time, almost to the point where I felt like I was going to explode. And then <laughs> after we would be done like rehearsing or performing, I'd be like, I'm so tired because that just like took a lot out of me and so I think it really helped me like build up my endurance in terms of like my performance level and how I can like continue to do something so exhausting over and over again. Was the whole experience uh, positive or negative? Positive. I mean as I said before I got to I got to get to know people and so that was really fun. Yeah it was just a really good bonding experience for me and I liked it. It was very positive. Again it was probably like the funnest thing I've ever done in the drama department here which wasn't something I was really expecting. I was kind of nervous about it the re and the reaction we got from everyone that saw it was just like amazing. Being in Moby Dick was negative. I just felt so stressed and I was I was confused most of the time because I like I this is all it was completely new to me but once I I stepped back from it and it became more relaxed. I was more and then I stuck around and did the documentary. In the end being out of Moby Dick but st still being there was a positive thing. Are you proud of Moby Dick the musical? Yeah. At first I was kind of worried because it was like I didn't know how we were gonna pull it off and how like whether or not people would enjoy it. I was just really impressed with the way we all came together and just made this really weird show like so memorable and so funny. Thank you.